Taekwondo Wing Chun guy is in the red gloves. And he's taking on a Muay Thai guy. Ooh, nice slick combos by our Muay Thai guy. Oh, nice axe kick. Ooh, this is going to be a good match. Again, from this amazing Muay Thai gym, we always feature children, Superman Muay Thai or Superman. Anyways, let's go back to the action. It is a little sped up, but it's all good. Nice cut kick. Nice. Ooh. Man, Muay Thai guy is, you can notice the Muay Thai guy has a little bit less mass than the Taekwondo Wing Chun guy, right? So, oh, this is so cool. So his his base punch style is Wing Chun, but his kicks are Taekwondo. Wow. Oh, my goodness. I haven't checked their social media in a while, so I just don't know when they have challengers with good skill, but this is cool. Dude, yeah, Muay Thai guy's gonna time it, man. The the sidekicks, unless he does that step in sidekick, I called it a cut kick. It doesn't have too much force. Ooh, but that leg kick by Muay Thai guy had force. Yeah, the the sidekick by the Taekwondo Wing Chun guy, ooh, that punch knocked him back. Just doesn't have too much force, man. You see, Taekwondo Wing Chun guy's kinda gets scared, you see? He just doesn't he he basically the first 20 seconds used up all his energy happens right when you're not used to the kind of ring Ooh, that body kick hurt Ooh, that push kick that teep hurt look i see taekwondo guy has zero zero force now trying to throw okay you gotta be careful oh nice beautiful spin kick oh spinning back fist okay end of the first round guys wow oof that was a uh, um a swivel or a yeah swivel hook you could call it nice um, oof, nice. Oof. Yeah, so, unfortunately, our Taekwondo Wing Chun guy does not have very good punch defense. Ooh, got him, got him. Oof. We'll give him a little standing count. Okay, here we go. He's going to continue. Good jab. Wow, Muay Thai guy swinging for the fence. Oh, ow, 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 ooh, ooh, ow, ow, ow. Cameraman, man, maybe consider shooting in widescreen next time. As in wide angle, not widescreen. Oh. Oof. The, um, the Muay Thai person's corner is telling him to throw teeps, man. And the Taekwondo person could totally take that advice, too. Oof. Oh, spinning back fist lands again. Oh, ow, oof. Yeah, he gives up. He gives up. Wow. Taekwondo guy gives up. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, man. They, like, want Taekwondo guy to get KO'd, man. Wow. Oof. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, ow, ow, ow. Yeah, he gave up. He Please give up. Wow. So, yeah, they gave it to our <laughs> Muay Thai guy. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please press the like. There's a reason I keep telling you guys to do it because the YouTube algorithm literally changed on me again. When it changes, it takes the channel at least a month to recover. And unfortunately, this is going to be one of those months. So hopefully, if you press like, leave a comment, etc. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. You can tell YouTube, look, whenever you change the algorithm, make sure to go back to treating fight commentary breakdowns like normal again. For my understanding, because you you know, I used to work at a similar company. Every time there's a change in the algorithm, stuff that could get views, it gets put in front of a few human people to kind of give it ratings. We want to, of course, get rated highly. So then the machine has more likelihood of preferring it and trying to put it in front of more people. If you wonder why me and many YouTubers always tell you to subscribe, leave a comment, etc., that's why. Engagement is a measure, right? It's not the only measure for the machine, at least five, 10 years ago is a big measure. You guys keep sending me clips. The email that is now in our about section, I'm trying to check in more, right? So it's not like a lot of you have probably tried emailing in the past and you don't get a hold of me. This email, I actually paid for it. So this email dedicated for answering people. Anyways, guys, we will talk soon.